हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू दर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ जनरेटिव ए आई वन ओ वन दिस गोन बी टू पार्ट एपिसोड होपफुली गोइन कवर द फर्स्ट वन इट सेल्फ द फर्स्ट पार्ट टूडे विच इज गोन बी आई टेक यू टू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ वेरी गुड फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन सी आई ऑफ अ लार्ज ग्लोबल बैंक हेडक्वार्टर इन द यू एस who decided to build a solution uh, using generative ai so i'm going to talk about the considerations there i am going to talk about the why and how we thought about it right so the we're going to take the last example it's essentially the same where they wanted to build a large language model to decide whether to give out a loan or not right so apart from the business use case which we have now established stands there are three other considerations that you have to take into account number one is availability of data talking about this use case specifically the data exists with the bank right so they have processed millions of loan applications which they have either accepted or rejected so they have the data the second is feasibility of ai uh, you know in this case uh, prima facie ai it looks like this should be possible because you know you could even have uh, a large language model like chat gpt you know you can send them uh, you know three or documents and ask them to find pattern and they can reasonably do so so this is a use case worth you know trying out at least prima facie right the third thing is about ethical and bias uh, concerns and risk mitigation around that now if uh, you know if i am a cio looking at this use case for me the third one in this conversation the use case is very valid it's going to give you more money it's going to reduce the time to actually uh, disburse a loan so it's going to be cost effective as well so the use case is valid the data is there the ai is probably you know there to do it but the only question that you need to answer is the the bias question right uh whatever like whoever has processed uh, accepted or rejected those loans earlier their biases or subconscious biases would get trained into the ai if the data that is being sent is not thought about thoroughly and and controlled so that is an internal discussion that you should do in this specific case to ensure that you know the risk and you can control the data that is being used to actually train the large language model right so uh, in this specific example the the cio did decide to actually go ahead and build the llm uh, they had an internal committee meeting which decided and and figured out how to mitigate this specific bias risk right and uh, they did decide to do a pilot and they currently running one and what we are seeing is that they're getting great results building it in house now there is a big conversation about buy versus build and i'll tell you why they decided to build and when does it make sense to build right they have deep pockets to hire an ai expert or an ai expert team actually right that's the biggest one because you need to be ready to invest a lot of money in getting the best of the best people who understand large language models and ai right that's number one number two is of course data privacy and security concerns right being a bank they didn't want the data to go out they wanted the data to remain on their premises while they build any large language model right these are two biggest considerations that they they, they made and of course they have deep pockets and of course they don't want the data to go out hence they decided to build it themselves and uh, you know they they getting great results right now in the next episode we're going to talk about another company who decided to buy on a different use case so i'm going to talk about it in the part 2 of this episode uh in a few minutes thank you so much have a good one bye bye